Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. It is indeed an interesting discussion Prince Harry's bank account and future, in light with everything he has done recently and like the entire family, all over public scrutiny. Harry is set to receive £7 million from the Queen Mother's will, which comes into effect on his 40th birthday, September 15. That inheritance is thought to be she share in her alleged £70 million fortune. On top of that, Harry has made money from the Duchy of Cornwall, just like his brother Prince William which takes him to a personal net worth figure around £46 million. Not a terrible birthday present, to be sure, but what will Harry do with it? Many have already speculated that, if anything, it would be used to feed into the extraordinarily expensive tastes of Meghan or else squandered on a luxury lifestyle, think parties and ostentatious indulgences, etc. On the other hand, a popular argument is that being handed an inheritance simply lacks the same satisfaction of earning wealth on your own. It goes on to make the case that Harry should have perhaps branched out in a business of his own instead of living off privileged wealth and access. This sum is unlikely to have satisfied Meghan's ambitions of monetizing her association with the royal family. Nobody is ever satisfied with money if he or has limitless ambitions. Given Meghan's taste for the finer things in life, and her ambitious goals to be seen as a game-changer on social issues with aspiration glamour akin to that of an A-lister, without having previously earned it, this inheritance would likely just evaporate into Chanel handbags and lavish lifestyle spending sprees within three years. The bigger question, of course, is whether such a payday will allow Harry and Meghan to flourish in the long run or serve as only more jet fuel for an ultimately Groundhog Day life. It is a fact that financial security requires more than just wealth, it takes responsible stewardship and some level of discernment in understanding the market, essential qualities apparently lacking when looks at Meghan's influence on their finances. Such inheritance might give Harry some temporary relief, but without an intervention and real change in consequences, it will be not more than just a flash that would soon evaporate again leaving him on unstable foundations. One definite is Meghan must at least have half an eye on the size of Harry's inheritance. It is the notion of her remaining until the money dries up and then, with even more to gain from King Charles following a divorce afterwards. The so-called long game you describe may be related to some larger scheme, as certain patterns discernible by observers have indicated. Even an inheritance like Harry's, impressive as it is compared to his wealthy pals, may not quite cut the mustard when you're embarking on a new life. Regular reader O'Kitty, for example worries about her partner and their future, this could easily escalate into bad feelings if she sees them as fairly broke relative to the circles they hope to run in. But if Meghan has her eye on wealthier or farther-reaching exposure, such as from George Clooney, or more creatively, Oprah Winfrey, this might be just a stop and go. As for income beyond his inheritance, Harry provided numerous examples of he and Meghan cashing in their royal status with Hollywood media campaigns. In fact, their personal lives have become revenue streams to be exploited by way of things like a reported multi-million dollar Netflix deal and presumably book deals down the road as well as speaking engagements. But, and you are correct to note this, these revenue streams have come under pressure. Really, it comes down to this, contracts aren't being renewed, and we're hearing buzz about potential unwinds or breakups with behemoths such as Netflix Inc. With the negativity that is currently following their every action and with more major corporations second-guessing working with them, can this current way of turning profit even be sustainable in a long-term sense? The fact that Meghan and Harry are being regularly dragged into scandals is no longer attractive for many companies. In the end, Harry and Meghan have figured out ways to cash in, with a hint of creativity, but these won't lead them to financial security if their relationships with high-powered people in the industry continue to sour. Harry was and seemed to be a future thing of the past, gold leaf on toast kind extravagancies are over it appears for now. His consolation will probably be a cup of coffee. However, the notion of Harry out-earning William is probably not one that would concern as far as William goes. As we all know, 
William has enormous resources and is provided a number of opportunities that money cannot buy. William and his family have a huge following in the UK and beyond. He has a close bond with other members of the royal family, three gorgeous kids and also had Kate as his partner in crime when it comes to all things royal and charitable work. Regardless of the nature of their foundation and charities, they have developed a perception to work tirelessly on its behalf while not getting personally monetarily enriched by it. Yet for all of this, William probably doesn't really think about Harry's financial state. He's got a nice life of his own and Harry's numerous woes and controversies haven't really penetrated that, or had much effect on him in general. And the higher Harry's luck, there was always the fear that it would be squandered or poorly spent through outside pressures. If Harry, for example wanted to spend 100M on welfare she could become the passionate advocate of a sparkly firework project that only cost between 10 to 15. Should they ever divorce, there is also the issue in their investments being woven into shared business ventures. Ultimately, Harry can make more money but the knowledge of what to do with his earnings is a timeless gift. William, however, does not need any of that hard sell, self-assured and comfortable in his position with or without reference to how much money Harry has access to. Clearly, the way you've described Harry's current lifestyle is not working. Living this way is not only dangerously unsustainable, it requires minimal effort, lets luxuries be paid for by charities, while the money lasts, and could leave you hanging if financial support becomes less of a guarantee over time. Night and day from the responsibilities and work ethic that characterizes his job. As for Harry and Meghan's potential breakup, it makes sense why some would be extra suspect of the timing. The only logical conclusion one could draw that if Meghan is using Harry as a cash machine, and it's still an if because we haven't heard from her directly on the matter ever since their interview with Oprah aired last year, but assuming this actually happened for argument's sake, then once she gets whatever inheritance money or any financial gain there was to get post Megxit which did not materialize at all, six weeks after they announced them stepping down in January 2020. I do see potential exit door opening up soon afterwards. I would not be surprised if they are broken up less than a year from now, and the prognosis is worse with time. A combination of the strain on their relationship, financial constraints and public backlash could prove to be too much for them. On the flip side, Megan could choose to continue as well if she thinks there is more for her here or if other plans lie in store that span a longer amount of time. And as for Megan's aspirations to get her hands on the riches of King Charles and Prince William well, don't hold your breath. William and Charles won't be foolish enough to remain oblivious of her intentions, meaning they've probably addressed it in order to safeguard their own wealth with Meghan's greed kept at bay. For they, after all are trained to look for and react accordingly just as they should in this case, probably more so than Harry. In the end, it remains to be seen what will become of Harry and Meghan's relationship but one thing is for sure they have some big challenges ahead of them that could make or break their future in the next couple months. Indeed, Meghan's role is likely her best chance to ever fulfill those greater ambitions and financial reward for Harry anyway. Harry still maintains ties to his father, King Charles, and brother Prince William despite distancing himself from the royal family. Such connections, while tenuous at best, enjoy a kind of support based on familial ties that are hard to break for good. This provides Meghan with a thin, but possible opening to use these relationships for her benefit. My guess is that Meghan wants to keep her links with Harry as the key which opens up access not only to his riches, but also all those royal connections and strings. You know? Meghan loses major status points with the elite snobs without Harry. She is not young and pretty anymore and has been so scandal-ridden that she would have trouble suckering another rich or powerful guy. There are far less controversy-free twenty-something women on offer, which in turn diminishes Meghan's chances of wangling a wealthy beau. The truth is, Meghan probably knows she doesn't have a lot of options. At its core, she probably realizes that sticking with Harry is her best, if not only, shot at keeping a degree of profile and financial stability. But her chances of conning herself into the royal family's coffers will be similarly slim. 
Prince William and King Charles should take note for the predatory financial legislation being enshrined in UK law, so that they can do what to protect themselves if it ever affects them. Harry, on the other hand, will not receive much sympathy for his woe is me tales of financial struggle, including that daddy cut off his pocket money. He would seemingly be forced to vomit that money out or have it taxed, a difficult pill for many in light of his reportedly being on the British public's dime most of his life. As we said, all roads lead to Harry, and by the time Meghan reaches 50 hers will be a Bill and Melinda office albeit minus the $100 billion, 76 pounds. So it seems her game plan is to hold on to him for as long as possible and wring out whatever good time she can. However, this strategy only endures for so long and really the longer she tries to run this game, her likely return looks more like a reverse hockey stick. If the cash dries up, or Harry grows a backbone and walks away Megan could be heading for them. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy, I'll see you in the next one.